Hello there, and today we're going to be talking about trigonometric functions in Maple Learn. The trig functions are available in the trig palette of the toolbar. Move through the choices with the scroll bar or clickable arrows. When you find a function you need, click it to add it to the document. The function will come equipped with its own set of brackets and will evaluate at whatever you place inside. You can also manually type your own trigonometric functions if you would prefer. As you can see, MapleLearn has many trig functions available, the classic sine, cosine, and tangent, and the reciprocal trig functions, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Then for each of those six, you also have access to the inverse trig function, the hyperbolic trig function, and the inverse hyperbolic trig function. So what can you do with all of these? First, you can evaluate them at given values and use them in expressions to see the results. Second, you can include variables and plot trigonometric functions in the plot window. The context panel below will further allow you to differentiate, integrate, and more. Finally, note that MapleLearn can evaluate trig functions in either degrees or radians. To toggle between the two, click this icon right here. My document is currently using radians, now it's using degrees, and you can switch back and forth between the two. This was an overview on how to use trigonometric functions in MapleLearn. For more information on trigonometry itself, check out MapleLearn's document gallery. Thank you all so much for watching.